welcome to a moment of prayer, scripture, reflection, and song as we move through again and again a Lenten refrain by a sanctified art. Every Wednesday through Lent, an opportunity for us to grow together will be released at 7 p.m. These are intended to be a time of additional help and connection to God and our community. As we read, pray, and reflect, know that we do this all together. Reverend Sarah R. centers our time by writing, The year 2020 taught us just how much our space matters. Many of us realized just how holy our sanctuaries are for us when we were unable to physically gather within them. However, this season has also reminded us that God does not reside in any one place, for God is everywhere. And God promises to draw near to us wherever we may be. And so, as we begin, I invite you to set aside this moment so that your soul knows this is holy ground. Let us pray. Our reading comes from Matthew chapter 6, verses 1 through 6 and 16 through 21. Beware of practicing your piety before others in order to be seen by them, for then you have no reward from your Father in heaven. So whenever you give alms, do not sound a trumpet before you, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, so that they may be praised by others. Truly I tell you, they have received their reward, but when you give alms, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, so that your alms may be done in secret, and your Father who sees in secret will reward you. And whenever you pray, do not be like the hypocrites, for they love to stand and pray in the synagogues and at the street corners, so that they may be seen by others. Truly I tell you, they have received their reward. But whenever you pray, go into your room and shut the door and pray to your Father who is in secret, and your Father who sees in secret will reward you. And whenever you fast, do not look dismal like the hypocrites, for they disfigure their faces so as to show others that they are fasting. Truly I tell you, they have received their reward. But when you fast, put oil on your head and wash your face, so that your fasting may be seen not by others, but by your Father who is in secret, and your Father who sees in secret will reward you. Do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth, where moth and rust consume and where thieves break in and steal but store up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust consumes, and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. I'm grateful for those of you who came out to our Ash Wednesday drive through Here's a little clip, though we didn't think to start this until after the first handful of cars came through. Barbara Brown Taylor's writing guides us in our reflection on this text. Ash Wednesday is the day we Christians attend our own funerals. Whether or not we received 
ashes on our foreheads and the sign of the cross, the liturgy reminds us of our own demise. Quote, remember that you are dust and to dust you shall return. Even in traditions and pandemic years where ashes are not imposed, the name of the day remains. Everything else that is said or done on that day happens in the presence of ashes, which offers us a rare opportunity to live with and hear of death before our death. While we are not preoccupied with mourning the loss of a particular friend or family member. So I'd like for you to reflect on this and ask yourself, what pains of sin have you witnessed this year? Name them. Oh. 